Working in our WCCO newsroom certainly like to consider themselves journalists. <laughs> that term is getting some debate, though, by members of the Minnesota House of Representatives. Political reporter Pat Kessler joins us now. And, Pat, they're not talking about giving you raincoats that say media jackals on the back again, are they? Well, that'd be good, wouldn't it? No. <laughs> in fact, House leaders are considering, and just in the last 90 minutes have withdrawn some controversial new rules that aimed at journalists, but not all of them. They place unusual restrictions on mainstream reporters, but new media bloggers believe this is actually aimed at them. The Democrats wanted journalists to sign a promise they won't videotape lawmakers in certain situations because of what they said were security reasons. Because it's very hard now to distinguish with what our press and what are, what are called trackers or even uh, stalkers and other issues. We have some issues around here that uh, go beyond uh, the press and go into safety concerns. But controversy erupted when House leaders asked reporters in public hearings to promise not to videotape audience members or conversations between House members in the room or even to focus the camera on individual House members. Have you signed it? No. Would you ever consider signing no. it? No. Jason Barnett is executive director of The Uptake, a progressive-leaning website that's currently yeah, webcasting yeah, Minnesota's true. U.S. Senate election trial. It really is shocking to me that this is coming from, um, you know, this this party that, that normally are the ones that are pretty open and transparent to begin with. And on this, liberals and conservatives agree. Michael Broadcorp is employed by Senate Republicans, but privately he writes a conservative blog called Minnesota Democrats Exposed. The Democrats should be ashamed of themselves. We should be letting more sunshine in, more transparency, more bloggers in, more access to the process so the, the process can be open and the public can see what's going on. Now, Democratic leaders insist they are not going after journalists and they are more interested in security, but they say they have to deal with an emerging question. And all of this, all of these people, all of us are dealing with this right now, this emerging issue. What is a journalist? Is it a blogger? Is it a website? Is it a TV reporter or a print reporter? And does one deserve more access than another? Jeanette, as you know, this is something that is beginning to explode, something everybody's taking a very close look at. Yeah, times are changing. All yeah. right, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, but you mentioned the rules would restrict trackers. What are we talking about here? You know, that is a new phenomenon just in the last few years. The political parties hire people to carry little cameras around and follow the politicians. They get in their face, they follow them everywhere. Wherever they are in public, they follow them, and that annoys and irritates people. Particularly, you might remember in the last U.S. Senate election, both Franken and Coleman were followed. Some people believe they are trying to restrict that. They don't know who these people are, and sometimes they say it could be a security issue. So that's just one more level, one more layer of this onion that people are going to deal with, and we all are going to have to deal with it very soon. A lot to figure out. It's pretty good, though. Pretty all fun. All right. Keep us posted. Thanks, Pat.